Hi, this is Kara Kuroda. I'm one of the board members for Medica, and I've had a lot of fun creating this Kokeshi doll from a toilet paper roll. So welcome to the Kokeshi doll toilet paper roll video. The materials you'll need to get started are a toilet paper roll, which can either be light colored or dark. The light one will show the light pink pencil of the facial features a little better. Either one will do. For the actual kimono, you can use origami paper or any construction paper that you've patterned yourself with markers um, and whatnot will do just fine. For the sash or obi of the kimono, you can use patterned tape or construction paper. You'll need scissors, a black marker, a light colored pink pencil, and some construction paper for the hair. It can be any color, black, brown, yellow, whatever you choose and some double stick tape to hold things together, regular tape will do too, or glue. The first step is to create the arc in the top of the kimono, and that'll form sort of the, um, the also the bottom of the face. So once you've had that slight arc cut out, you align it on the toilet paper roll where you'd like it. And then the paper will have to be cut to the bottom of the toilet paper roll. So the length of the kimono um, aligns with the bottom of the toilet paper roll. And then wrap that around the back and tape it together. You'll need your black marker next and you'll outline the top of the kimono, which is also the bottom of the face, and the fold of the kimono with the black marker. Like that. For the obi of the kimono or the sash, you can use pattern tape or construction paper that you've patterned in any fashion. And you just wrap it around the kimono and tape it to the back. We'll take our scrap piece of construction paper and cut out the hair for the Kakeshi doll. What you're really cutting out is the opening around the face. So you want to sort of gauge the width of your face and the height, um, how long you want the hair to be, and you're going to cut out uh, a pattern. You can have a wave um, for bangs, uh, etc. So draw your pattern on the construction paper and then as you cut it out you can kind of adjust it. Here's the pattern that I drew. You can kind of see it there and that's what I'll cut out and then you can hold it up to your Kokeshi doll to see if that's what you like. Once you have the hair of the Kokeshi doll cut out the way you like it, you can hold it up against the roll and adjust it to the right facial proportions and then wrap it around the back and tape it. So it's okay if it sticks way above the toilet paper roll because you're eventually going to use that to cover the top of the toilet paper roll. So attach it and you'll see that it is sticking up quite a bit from the top of the toilet paper roll. But that's okay. What you're going to look for are the dimensions of the face to make sure that you have enough height for the features um, of the face. To cover the top of the toilet paper roll, just push in slightly on the construction paper at the top of the roll and fold in the sides and tuck it into the top of the toilet paper roll. It's not easy, it doesn't come out perfect, but it covers the top and the hair turns out looking like that. Next, with the black marker, you can draw the eyes onto the Kokeshi doll. They're just simple arcs that look like that. And then with the light pink colored pencil, you can draw the rest of the facial features on that look like look like this. And there you have it, the Kokeshi doll made out of a toilet paper roll. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There are a lot of things you can do with toilet paper rolls, a lot of crafts. One example is a ninja. And to learn how to do the ninja, go over to Senpai Luke's video on crafting toilet paper roll into a ninja. Thanks.